typically when we think about betrayal, we think about a person um, not, not being loyal to us or sharing our secrets with somebody that they told us they wouldn't, they wouldn't disclose that information or, um, somebody doing something against us. Right. And then we say, when that person did that thing, they betrayed me, but betrayal happens long before that one action or that repeated action, depending on how long you allow something to keep uh, progressing and cycling through, um, the, the the actual act of betrayal happened long, long, long before that. One of the things that I propose to you is happening is that your you betrayed yourself happening is that actually you've made excuses for that type of behavior that you know this person has demonstrated in the past. You've you've ignored or excused away uh, red flags that this person has also shown you. You have created this person in your head as how you want them to be instead of actually how they actually are, instead of accepting them for who they truly are and who they've shown you to be, you've made excuses for that. And you hold on to this version of this person in your head as the real version of that person when that person has shown you with their actions, with their words, repeated behavior, that they are not the version that's in your head. And yet you can't get rid of that version. The betrayal that actually manifests on the outside in a person betraying your trust or betraying, um, you know, your, your friendship, your loyalty, your, your covenant, whatever it was actually happened the moment you decided to betray yourself by not honoring the way that you were created by not honoring your intuition Okay, by ignoring promptings of Holy Spirit, by ignoring the advice of other trusted family and friends, treating yourself in a way that was lesser than the than the standard by which your creator created you to receive and to accept as acceptable behavior, you betrayed the original design, the divine intent for how you were to be treated. That's when the actual betrayal happens. When we deny and deceive our own selves, we start down a very slippery slope that creates endless amounts of cycles of betrayal, of drama, of heartache for ourselves. And the whole time we're going to be saying, I don't deserve it. How is this happening to me? I'm a good person. Because you didn't take responsibility over your life. Because in the beginning, when you saw these red flags, or in the beginning, when your trusted family and friends told you, hey, X, Y, and Z are red flags, or I don't like when this person does A, B, and C, or there's something just off about this person, or at the first red flag, you thought, I can get them to change, or that's not how they really are, or I know that, you know, deep down, they're actually this way. And they just need a little bit more of my time, love, energy, effort, money, whatever it is to become that person again. And you think it's a challenge, right? Oh, God's testing me. God's God's trying to see if I really want this marriage. God's trying to see if I really want it. By the way, God does not work like that. That sounds like a manipulator. <laughs> that is not how a divine and loving God would ever treat you. Would you treat your children that way? So when we've actually deceived ourselves into believing one of these many, many lies that we can come up with, that is a seed that we plant inside of ourselves. But betrayal on the outside is nothing more than that seed coming to full fruition. Meaning um, the first time that you ignored that red flag, the first time that you let that behavior slide, you let that little comment slide, you ignored your pastor's, mother's, best friend's, whatever advice or concerns that they brought to you about this person, you let that all go. You betrayed yourself. You betrayed the original design for your life. That seed has no other option. Listen, seeds grow, whether it's a weed or it's an oak tree. 
they all work the same exact way. So when you plant that seed of betrayal for yourself, it has no uh, other option but to become into a, a tree of whatever fruit that is.